Graduates, parents, boards of regents, honored guests, distinguished faculty and staff, welcome to the 110th and the 111th commencement ceremony for Oklahoma Panhandle State. That away. We are celebrating two ceremonies today because the 2020 commencement was canceled by the pandemic. This past year was unprecedented in terms of stress, anxiety and difficulty. It was also a year that revealed our character, our strength and our endurance. Today will be different from any commencement in the past. The social distancing, the stage, the beautiful Oklahoma wind. It will be different today. While this day, like most days and all of us, will not be perfect, it is our day. It will be what we make it. Let it be different. Be patient. And let's make this our best day ever. We <laughs> Thank you. We want to welcome those who have joined us on the live stream. Special thanks to our partners at PTCI for making this service available to everybody. This morning, we are incorporating Spanish into our ceremony for the first time in an effort to include family and friends of some of our graduates. No soy un hablamente nativo de español. Por favor, tomen lo que voy a decir como un influenzo para respetar, honrar a todos lo que no son bilingües hoy aquí. Bienvenidos a nuestra graduación número 110 y 111. En pantalla van a ver los textos en español y inglés. Please stand and remain standing for the presentation of the colors and until after the invocation by my friend, Reverend Craig Shepherd of the Guymon Church of the Nazarene.
Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so broadly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave From out the open prairie, beautiful to view, stands a llama mater, crimson and blue. Stand up and shout the anthem, rolling onward, sound it brave and true. Swing aloft our rolling colors, crimson and blue. We lift our hearts and voices in one mighty hue. Keep our anthem ringing, crimson and blue. Stand up and shout the anthem, rolling onward, sound it's brave and true. Swing aloft our color streaming, crimson and blue. We gather today to celebrate life, to honor those no longer with us, to remember the journey, and to stare into the future. Let us pray. God of heaven and earth, the giver and sustainer of life. We thank you for these graduates before us and the individual journeys that have brought them to this place. We give you praise for their accomplishments. We give you thanks for the family, friends, staff, and faculty who have stood behind them, stood beside them, and even pushed them to new horizons. In this moment, we pause recognizing that you, O oh God, are with us. At the highest heights and the lowest lows, we are able to find you. So as we prepare to turn the page, we ready ourselves not knowing all that it is to come, but knowing you and only you are sufficient for the known and the unknown. We pray that you may help these students to take the knowledge and skills they have gained and use them for the good of all creation, that they may have the courage necessary to make the world a better place. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning. Buenos dias. My name is Tim Fulton, and I am honored to be the president of Oklahoma Panhandle State University, and I have the privilege of presiding over this morning's commencement exercises. 
This is a time to make joyful memories, to reflect on the hard work and dedication of our graduates. Because today is special, I hope that you will celebrate with a great deal of enthusiasm. So if you have an air horn or a cowbell or you just want to yell your support, I would encourage you to do so. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that right now. Anybody got any noisemakers out there? Hey. Like I said, this is a great occasion and I would encourage you to celebrate with great enthusiasm as long as it's done with respect. Please don't let your celebration ruin someone else's celebration. When it is your time, let it go. But when it is others' times, please let them celebrate in their own way. I want to thank the Guyman Fire Department for the presentation of the colors. We appreciate Reverend Shepard's invocation. How about our band with pomp and circumstance? Didn't they do well today? Brittany Webb, we are so proud of you and your performance of the national anthem and our alma mater was just excellent. Didn't Brittany do well today? Since 1944, the Board of Regents have provided wise leadership and service to Oklahoma Panhandle State. This morning, I have the honor of introducing my friend, Jason Ramsey, CEO of the A&M Board of Regents. Jason is the Chief Executive Officer of the A&M Board of Regents and has served in that capacity since 2012. He has been with the Regents staff since 2003. Mr. Ramsey is a friend and encourager to many of us here in the Panhandle, and having known him for almost two decades, I am honored to welcome him to our ceremony so that he may bring remarks on behalf of the Oklahoma A&M Board of Regents. Mr. Ramsey. Thank you, President Fulton. President Fulton, Ms. Amada Alvidrez, candidates for degrees and guests, on behalf of the Board of Regents, I bring greetings to all of you and congratulations to the Oklahoma Panhandle State University Class of 2021. I'm excited to celebrate and share this great day with you. It's a pleasure to share this event with Ms. Amada Alvidrez, who is quickly become a leader not only for the Panhandle region, but for the state of Oklahoma after receiving her degree right here at Oklahoma Panhandle State University. Ms. Alvidrez, I know we all look forward to your remarks today. Graduates, we honor you today and we celebrate your decision to attend Oklahoma Panhandle State University. We hope you will remember your years at OPSU as a time of personal growth that set you on a course for success in your chosen field and in life in general. I know this past year has been difficult in so many ways, so it is even more special that we're here today. You've persevered through more than anyone would have thought possible just a little more than a year ago. We salute you for your hard work and dedication to your education we thank you for your commitment to the OPSU community and for thriving would have been, when it would have been really easy to justify putting things on hold for a while, including your education. We also salute those whose support has undoubtedly played a major role in this accomplishment. Thank you to the parents, family members, friends, the outstanding dedicated OPSU faculty and staff, and to President Fulton and his team for believing in and supporting these graduates each step of the way. The past year hasn't been easy for any of them either, and we're grateful for their diligence and hard work. We know that without the support of all of you, these graduates wouldn't be here today. Graduates, again, on behalf of the Board of Regents, we congratulate you, and we look forward to celebrating with you today. Thank you. At this time, we will honor a graduation tradition here at Panhandle as we recognize and celebrate the life of several people who were important to OPSU and who have left us all too soon. First, Cinch Bullock passed away on Friday, March 26, 2021. Cinch was a strong-willed young man who always saw the positive in life and loved his horses. Cinch was a freshman on the OPSU rodeo team 
He was no stranger to our winning tradition, and it was his dream to wear the Panhandle State vest and to be an OPSU graduate. Here to accept this resolution honoring Cinch's life are his parents, his siblings, and his family. Carrie and Robbie. Hadley McCormick passed away on Friday, March 26, 2021. Hadley was a young man, always willing to learn and help out where needed. A senior on the rodeo team, McCormick was studying to become an ag teacher. He was talented at shaping the young minds of the next generation. Hadley was loved by his students at Stratford High School and all of us here at OPSU. Here to accept a resolution honoring Hadley's life and to receive his posthumous bachelor's degree in ag education are his parents, Cameron and Catherine McCormick. Lucas Simmons passed away on February 10th, 2021. Lucas was a bright young man who left an unforgettable impression on his teammates, his friends, with his humble and witty personality. He loved livestock, was studying, he was gonna be a butcher. His family and friends and peers remembered the laughs he gave them and always his friendly smile. Here to accept a resolution honoring Lucas's life as well as his posthumous degree in animal science are his parents, Destry and Nicole. Norlene Peterson passed away on December 31st, 2020. She attended Panhandle A&M A College and got her Bachelor of Science in History in 1954. Norlene was a teacher in many classrooms until well after her 90th birthday across the Panhandle of Oklahoma. Her smile and her grace are treasured and remembered by all. Here to accept the resolution honoring Norlene's life are her grandchildren from the Peterson family as well as Amy Eichley. Sharon Petty passed away on December 24th, 2020. She met her husband, David, when she was elected student council president of the eighth grade. He was the one who swore her into office. And a few short years later, on May 29, in 1961, David and Sharon swore their lives to each other in marriage. 
Sharon delayed her education to support David through law school and graduated from Oklahoma Panhandle State University with a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education in 1980. Here to accept a resolution honoring Sharon's life and legacy is her husband, Mr. David Petty. Lois Ramon passed away February 6th of 2021. In 1956, Valois attended Panhandle AMC College where she met the best looking man on campus, Sephrin Ramon. In 1959, they were married and they raised three children, all of who are graduates of OPSU. Valois graduated with her Bachelor of Arts in English in 1972. She was, an in, she was instrumental in obtaining and helping to plant many of the trees here on the OPSU campus, and she was someone who always had opinions and thoughts and was willing to help make our university better. Here to accept this resolution honoring Valois's life are her husband, her children, and their families. Moving on to something different. Graduates, I believe it's important that we acknowledge those who have led you through this chapter of life. The dedication of our faculty and staff are unrivaled. Every day these individuals arrive on our campus eager and willing to challenge you, to give you their best, and this goal has been met time and time again. I'd put our faculty up against any faculty in the world, especially after this year when I've seen all of the greatness come out of them in some of the most trying times in the history of the world. Estoy orgulloso de nuestros profesores y sé que nuestros alumnos lo están también. I am proud of the faculty and I know you are too. Will the faculty of Panhandle State University please stand and be recognized? In the last two years, members of our Panhandle State family have retired. Their contributions and their legacy are great. We will miss them dearly. At this time, I'd like to recognize those attending our ceremony, as is our tradition. First, and of course she's first, Dr. Sarah Jane Richter was the Dean of Liberal Arts and Professor of English, and she has been a positive force in many, many people's lives for 35 years here at Panhandle State. Dr. Richter, would you please stand and let us acknowledge your legacy? Awesome. Mr. Benny Dane. Vice President of Fiscal Affairs, served this institution for 30 years. His infectious smile and his talent have made us what we are today. And his hair today is something to behold. Mr. Dane, would you please stand so we can all recognize your hair. You're a good man, Benny Dane, and we appreciate you very much. Dr. Nels Peterson was a professor of agriculture education. He formed new ag teachers for 11 years at Oklahoma Panhandle State. Dr. Peterson, will you please stand and let us acknowledge you today. <laughs> Mr. John Olson is a visiting instructor of technology and he's been with OPSU for 35 years. Mr. Olson, would you please stand and let us acknowledge you. Mrs. Yvonne Sangster, instructor of art. 
She helped form up and create upcoming artists all across our region and our nation for over 17 years. Mrs. Sangster, would you please stand and let us acknowledge your life and legacy at OPSU. While not retiring, there's somebody who's very important to OPSU. Mrs. Terry Mora is the director of Upward Bound and our first director of Hispanic Student Services at OPSU. She's also done amazing things with our HALO group here on campus. She served our university for 16 years, all the while changing lives with her support and mentorship of our students. She is responsible for a lot of the foundational work that have made Oklahoma Panhandle State Oklahoma's first and only HSI. Please help me acknowledge Mrs. Terry Mora. There is another very important group that we must recognize and I really need your help to love these people up because they have worked as hard as any group of people could ever work to make today possible. They are our commencement committee and they are chaired by our commanding general and one of the best people you could ever be around, Mr. Tito Asnar. He has been assisted through this process this year by Mrs. Amber Glass, Dr. Julie Dinger, Dr. Ryan Blanton, Mr. Matthew Carter, Mrs. Olivia Robinson, Mr. Derek Barton, Mrs. Natasha Eitzen, Mrs. Cheyenne Black, Ms. Cheyenne Black, Victor, Mr. Victor Esparza, Mr. Robbie Johnson, and our world-class physical plant crew. Will you please help me with a round of applause? For months, these people have worked as hard as anyone could work to ensure that this commencement was truly special for our graduates and their families. Doesn't this place look great? Finalmente, y sin duda, los más importante es reconocer las familias y los amigos de los graduados. The families and friends of graduates should be recognized as well. Their support and guidance have propelled these graduates down the pathway to the achievement that we are celebrating today. The Panhandle State family, students, faculty, and staff extend their deepest gratitude for all of the family members and friends that have stood behind these students, encouraging them to pursue their dreams. Me honra que y han confiado en nosotros. I am honored that you have trusted us with their futures. Graduates, will you please stand, make eye contact with your family and all those that supported you, and let's thank them for the great day you're having today. Thank you. I want to point out something that we started in 2019 as a new tradition here at OPSU. We have red, white, and blue honor cords for our first generation college graduates. If you are a first generation college graduate and you have an honor cord, will you please stand so that we can acknowledge the trail that you have blazed. Will all of our graduates now please stand so we can acknowledge your great achievement. By graduating from college, you haven't just changed your trajectory. You've changed the trajectory of every generation that follows you. You want to transform a region? You want to bring our nation together? You want to make the world better in positive ways? It's through this kind of activity right here, right now. That's how you change the world, and we're proud of you. Congratulations, graduates. You guys can... The word commencement means the beginning of something. These commencement exercises begin your new journey. Life is lived in chapters, and those who are wise are not afraid to turn the page. What lies ahead of you is unknown, but I have great confidence that you are prepared for any opportunity that you will face. I hope that each of you know that you have made Panhandle State better just by your presence and by being here. As you go forth, headed to your next destination in life, carry the knowledge and connections and network and friendships that you've created here. Some of those special connections help shape you into who you are today. The graduate you are today. You didn't get here by accident. Particularly in the last year, you had to stay hooked up if you were going to be a part of this ceremony here. So please don't lose sight of this prodigious moment. You should be proud of yourself and your accomplishments. What about it, parents, spouses? Are you proud of these graduates?
Now, graduates, it's time to hear from one of your own. Someone who has shown a tremendous amount of dedication to OPSU and to our campus life. She is your Student Government Association President, Hannah Hasse. And she'll be joined by President-elect Yaseni Kano. Please help me welcome President Hasse. Thank you, Dr. Fulton. I am privileged to speak to you today on such an important occasion. Not only are we celebrating the OPSU class of 2021, but also the class of 2020. I'd like to give a special thank you to all of the people who have put their time and dedication into making this ceremony possible. COVID prevented a lot of things, but we are excited that we were able to have this ceremony today. OPSU is a place that brings students together, gives a quality education, welcomes diversity in its student body, faculty, and staff, and contributes to everlasting friendships and relationships. As we leave this campus today, those relationships and friendships don't go away. We have a university that supported and encouraged us for four years, and that will forever want the best for us. We have, a, we have professors who have worked countless hours helping us achieve success, we have families who believed in us, but we also have ourselves. Despite having to deal with the pandemic, the loss of fellow students and personal challenges, we still prevailed. The common thread through all of this, the positive and the negative, the happy and the sad, is OPSU. Panhandle State brought us all together so we could achieve our goals, so that we can fulfill our dreams, and the best part of all is that OPSU will remain a part of our lives. When you're having a rough day or something isn't working out, you can always reach out. When you're having a good day and things are going your way, go talk to that former professor for some help or advice or to brag on your accomplishments. Come back for another football or volleyball game and cheer on the Aggies. On this monumental day of our lives and forever moving forward, we should be reminded of why Dr. Fulton says, it's a great day to be an Aggie. At this time, I would like to invite the Student Government Association President-elect, Yaseni Kano. Gracias, Hena. Es un privilegio hablarles en una ocasión tan importante. No solo estamos celebrando a los graduados de OPSU de 2021, sino que también a los de 2020. Quisiera agradecer especialmente a todas las personas que pusieron su tiempo y dedicación para que esta celebración sea posible. El COVID impidió muchas cosas, pero nos alegra que podamos tener esta celebración el día de hoy. OPSU es un lugar que junta a la gente provee educación, acepta la diversidad en sus estudiantes, profesores y personal, y contribuye a la formación de amistades y relaciones que durarán toda una vida. Al dejar el campus hoy, estas relaciones y amistades no desaparecen. Tenemos una universidad que nos apoyó y nos animó durante cuatro años y siempre querrá lo mejor para nosotros. Tenemos profesores que han trabajado un sinnúmero de horas para ayudar a que alcancemos el éxito. Tenemos familias que creen en nosotros, pero también nos tenemos a nosotros mismos. A pesar de haber tenido que lidiar con la pandemia, con la pérdida de compañeros y con retos personales, hemos salido adelante. El hilo común que lo ata todo, lo positivo y lo negativo, Lo feliz y lo triste es OPSU. Panhandle State nos unió a todos para que podamos alcanzar nuestros objetivos, para que pu pudiéramos cumplir nuestros sueños. Lo mejor de todo es que OPSU seguirá siendo una parte de nuestras vidas. Cuando tengan un día duro o, o haya algo que no esté funcionando, pueden contactar a alguien aquí. Cuando tengan un buen día, y todo les está saliendo bien. Hablen con uno de sus ex profesores y pídenle ayuda un, o un consejo o presumen sus logros. Regresen 
a ver un partido de fútbol o de voleibol y animen a los águis. En este día tan monumental en nuestras vidas y por siempre, debemos recordar porque el doctor Falten dice, es un gran día para ser un águi. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Yesenie. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker. Amada Alvidrez's story in the United States began as a fifth grade student who could speak no English following her family from Mexico. Her hard work and determination quickly propelled her to the top of her class. She excelled academically and graduated with a 4.0 as the valedictorian of Guymon High School. Panhandle State was the natural choice for her as she looked to continue her education and stay close to home and family. She graduated magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Arts in English with minors in Spanish and Computer Information Systems. Amada is currently the Regional Retail Manager at Equity Bank in Guymon, Oklahoma, and the first Vice President of the Government Relations Council for the Oklahoma Bankers Association. Not only is she the first Panhandle resident to serve on that board, she is also the first Hispanic member of that board. A strong supporter of Panhandle State, Amada is a board member of the Panhandle State Alumni and Friends Association, and she also became the first Platinum Life member of the association in 2019. She lives uh, in Guymon with her husband Sergio and her beautiful daughter Sofia, who are with us here today, sitting next to my wife in the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please help me welcome to the podium one of our legends, our very own Amada Alvidrez. Thank you, Dr. Falton, for inviting me to join your commencement ceremony today. It is an honor I don't take lightly, but I'm a little nervous, so bear with me. After all, English isn't my first language. Graduates, you made an excellent choice coming to OPSU. When I chose a college, I was more concerned about staying close to home. OPSU offered me a full ride, and I was thrilled to stay. Regardless of how I chose OPSU, I could not have made a better choice. The classes were small and my instructors cared about me. I can't imagine having had a higher caliber of educators anywhere else. I had fallen in love so much with my second language that I chose English secondary education as my major. My professors opened my eyes to different worlds. I remember Dr. Turner reading Beowulf in Old English, and I would have never known how hilarious Shakespeare was if it weren't for Dr. Richter's brilliant interpretation. My Spanish minor led me to two of the most memorable trips of my life. I traveled to Spain, where I stood in the exact spot that Columbus stood when he asked King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella to sponsor his travels. Later, I went on a mission trip building homes in Honduras a few years after Hurricane Andrew. Being in a place without running water and electricity helped me to find joy and gratitude in the things that I took for granted. I met people who were happy just to have clothing and four walls. Plus, I saw the brightest stars and satellites whirling in the sky because there was no light pollution. If you ever have a chance to, take, to go on a mission trip, do it. It will change your life. I added CIS as a minor, but we'll touch on that when we talk about my career. So how did I, get from, how did I go from growing up in Mexico to graduating from OPSU? I spent the first years of my life living a blissful childhood in a small town in Mexico. It was the type of place where all the neighborhood kids played hide and seek until our mom called us in for dinner. I never wanted for anything, although I didn't know my family didn't have much money. In fact, my father left my little town to find work in the US when I was only three days old. When I was nine, 
My mom brought my younger brother and me to Cayman on summer vacation. My parents decided it was best for us to stay here, so I'm still on vacation. I then started a journey in learning two very important lessons that I'm still practicing today. To persevere and to find the positive in every situation. I didn't want to stay in a new country where the only word I knew how to say was Jess. And I miss my friends and my school and I lived in an apartment that was almost smaller than my living room in Mexico. When my mom enrolled me in school, there was no English as a learned language in Gaiman. So the principal had me repeat fifth grade. I was the only foreign born student in my entire grade and boy is it different now. My, my innovative teachers adjusted their lessons to help me as they could. My English teacher trained me on a phonics program and learning English became a little bit easier compared to learning how to write in cursive, honestly. After a while, returning to my home country wasn't a choice, so I kept learning the new language and the new culture. By sixth grade, I learned English well. Um, what proved to be difficult was a boy who bullied me because of my race. He even blamed me for stealing his school supplies in an effort to get me in trouble. Thankfully, I had a fantastic teacher who believed in my integrity and the bullying faded away. Just a few years ago, a classmate told me I had made a huge impact on him because I refused to stoop to the bully's level. So remember, seemingly small actions can make an impact on someone else's life. I continued learning with an amazing group of educators in Gaiman. The girl who couldn't speak English in fifth grade competed with the junior high and high school academic teams. And I took every opportunity my teachers gave me to learn from playing the flute and band to blowing up compounds in chemistry, because that's fun. Um, from seventh through 12th grade, I made straight A's. So I graduated valedictorian of Gaiman High School. And let's move on to my career. So at 16, I got a job at City National Bank and Trust Company in Gaiman. I have been fortunate enough to have worked in the same building for 26 years, but don't do the math. My first job was archiving records on microfilm. And as time passed, my bosses opened doors for me and I seized every opportunity. For example, um, I eventually learned, I eventually became the HR director because I was once willing to learn how to run payroll. The most fun start to my role, to one of my roles was in IT. After five years at the bank, I had become the most knowledgeable in our bank software. In 1999, our IT guy left and my boss pointed to me and said, well, you can do IT. If you are in CIS, you know knowing a software does not equal knowing IT. Nevertheless, I gladly accepted the challenge, but why was 1999 so important? Well, <laughs> our regulators were worried that the computers would roll to 1900 instead of 2000 on January 1st. So we were required to do a lot of testing to prevent havoc from, havoc from happening. I hadn't yet graduated from college, so I added CIS as a minor. In time, I became DIT director. Eventually, I became EVP of operations, and in 2018, my bank sold to Equity Bank. I merged as market president for Gaiman, and for a little over a year, I have been the regional retail manager. I have the privilege of coaching my coworkers to reach their full potential and of helping our clients navigate through finances. I love what I do and no day is boring. But did I mention I never took a finance class in college? So please don't tell my boss, is this being broadcast? Um, <laughs> my passion for education fueled my desire to learn about banking throughout my career. After completing some banking programs, I begged my boss to send me to graduate banking school 
and I graduated in 2009 from the Graduate School of Banking at Colorado with honors. Attending banking school sparked my introverted self to become more involved in the community and the industry. I also started thinking more outside the box, which I highly recommend. Throughout my career, my job became less of a job and more of a passion. I fell in love with how a bank can make such a positive difference in people's lives and in the community. A calling to preserve community banking led me to join the Oklahoma Bankers Association's Government Relations Council, and a year later, I was elected to the Board of Directors. In a year, I will become the first panhandle and the first Hispanic chairperson of the association. Thank you. My personal life has had a few challenges. Um, my husband, Sergio, whom I met in Hamilton Hall when he was trying to set me up on a date with somebody else. Um, <laughs> we were married in 2006, and after 10 years, I thought I would have to live without kids, but I chose to be happy with the life that I had. To pass the time, I found joy in running and worked myself up to half marathons. Then I found out I was 18 weeks pregnant after passing out in the middle of a banking convention, which I do not recommend, zero out of five stars. Um, nevertheless, I had a half marathon to run that weekend, so um, my baby and I did it. And now I have a three-year-old girl who is the center of my universe, and I am embracing the new challenge of motherhood. Hi, Sophia. <laughs> I share my story to encourage you to persevere in spite of challenges, to find the positive in any situation, to think outside the box, to find your passion, even if it's not what you thought it would be. You chose an outstanding school and you have prepared for the future in ways you might not even realize. It takes a special person to succeed in the Oklahoma Panhandle. You became resourceful and you learned how to plan. Plus, you figured out how to finish your degree in the middle of a global pandemic. <laughs> Most importantly, you received a top-notch education and I guarantee you can compete with anyone in the workforce. So be proud of your accomplishment. When you go out in the world, don't box yourself into something that doesn't give you joy. I studied to be a teacher but I fell in love with banking and I'm using my degree daily in ways I never imagined. Also, never stop learning because being a lifelong student brings you extraordinary opportunities. Congratulations, classes of 2020 and 21. Felicidades, we are Panhandle. Thank you, Ms. Alvarez. Your words are inspiring to all of us. In 2017, OPSU began a new tradition of honoring the most creatively decorated mortar board. This year, that award goes to Maribel Esquivez. Esquivel, I'm sorry. Will you please stand so that we all may see your work? Maribel will receive an engraved OPSU diploma frame. Congratulations, Maribel. We always love seeing the creativity that our students display. The J.R.P. Sewell Award was established in 1949 in memory of the late J.R.P. Sewell. A former Texas banker and civic worker, Mr. Sewell was instrumental in establishing and organizing the Panhandle Agricultural Institute, now known as Oklahoma Panhandle State University. This award was established to promote and honor scholarship leadership and citizenship among students attending OPSU. Only those graduating seniors who have completed all of their coursework at OPSU and have a cumulative GPA of 3.0 are eligible. The recipient of the 2020 JRP Sewell Award is Mr. Jorge Rosas. Would Mr. Rosas please come forward? Jorge Rosas completed two degrees in December of 2019 a Bachelor of Business Administration in Business Administration 
and a Bachelor of Business Administration in Computer Information Systems. Jorge was heavily involved on campus as an active member of the Video Game Club, AITP, PBL, and the Student Government Association. Some of his greatest achievements include being selected as a George Nye Scholar, competing on the national level three times for AITP, two times for PBL, and placing top 15 in the nation in public speaking. However, the achievement that gives him the most pride is being voted the Student Association President and being able to represent OPSU across the state. After completing his degree, Jorge was offered and accepted a position as a recon engineer at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. Mr. Rosas credits much of his success to the faculty and staff at OPSU, without whom he wouldn't be where he is today. It is our privilege, on behalf of the Sewell family, to present Mr. Jorge Rosas with this gold watch and plaque, symbolic of his recognition as J.R.P. Sewell Outstanding Graduate. The recipient of the 2021 JRP Sewell Award is Ms. Naomi Rodriguez. Would Ms. Rodriguez please come forward? Ms. Naomi Rodriguez was born and raised in the Panhandle. Originally from Boys City, Naomi graduated from Hooker High School. She stayed close to home to continue her education and basketball career at OPSU, where family and friends could continue supporting her. During her years at Panhandle State, she has grown much, learning to step out of her comfort zone and become a leader. Being involved in many groups and activities, she has been, a, has been a huge part of Naomi's years at OPSU. She enjoyed being a student ambassador and giving future Aggies tours of the campus and telling them how welcoming and supporting OPSU is to everybody who attends. She is grateful to have had the opportunity to be a part of the family that helped her grow as an individual. She will forever be proud to be an Aggie. It is our privilege on behalf of the Sewell family to present Ms. Naomi Rodriguez with this gold watch and plaque symbolic of her recognition as J.R.P. Sewell Outstanding Graduate. On behalf of the Panhandle State Association of Alumni and Friends, congratulations. We're proud of you and your accomplishments. We want you to stay connected with, with us and continue your relationship with Panhandle State. For graduation, we're giving each of you a bronze membership in the Alumni Association. We want you to enjoy the privileges of being an Alumni Association member. Keep up with campus events highlighted in the Panhandle Magazine and on social media. Come back for homecoming in the fall and alumni weekend in the spring. Reconnect with classmates and faculty. Keep us informed about your personal and professional information so that we can help celebrate your successes. Again, we're proud of you and we're excited to have you as an alumni member. Gracias and thank you. The past four years, I have had the honor and pleasure to be the provost. The best part of being the provost is graduation and the certification of candidates. Will the candidates for graduation please stand and remain standing? Yes. Dr. Fulton, on behalf of the faculty of Oklahoma Panhandle State University, I present these candidates for graduation and certification. These candidates have completed all degree and certificate requirements as specified by the Oklahoma A&M Board of Regents and the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education. Nice. What do you say we get this show on the road? All right, it's important I say this so it's official. Upon completion of the academic requirements and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the Oklahoma A&M Colleges and the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, I am honored to certify 
and bestow upon these individuals their degrees and to extend all rights and privileges associated with this achievement. Graduates, you have now earned the right to switch your tassel from the right to the left. Sehun graduado, you are now college graduates. Miss Green, it is all yours. Will all graduates except the first row please be seated? Annette McKinney, College of Agriculture, Science, and Nursing, Bachelor of Science, Agribusiness, Class of 20. Haley Neal, Bachelor of Science, Agribusiness, Class of 20. Kara Jenenbacher, Associate in Science, Agriculture, Bachelor of Science, Ag Business, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 21. <laughs> Whitney Nelson, Bachelor of Science, Agribusiness, Class of 21. It didn't. Madison Reed, Bachelor of Science, Agribusiness, Class of 21. Amanda Marie Grady Tidwell, Bachelor of Science, Agribusiness, Class of 21. Hunter Means, Bachelor of Science, Agribusiness, Class of 21. Kale Smith, Bachelor of Science, Ag Business, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 21. Denton Ward, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Business, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. Cassie Katzman, Bachelor of Science, Agribusiness, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 21. Logan Becker, Bachelor of Science, Agribusiness, Class of 21. Samuel Goings, Bachelor of Science, Agribusiness, Class of 21. Audrey Sanchez, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Cameron Pryor, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Cum Laude, Class of 21. No. <laughs> Jalen Reyes, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Chrislyn Devers, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Wow. 
Brissa Rivera, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Class of 21. Lara Allen, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Education, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. Brianne Carwin, Bachelor of Agronomy, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Education, Cum Laude, Class of 20. Regan Moreland, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Education, Class of 21. Jack David Hudgens, Bachelor of Science, Agronomy, Class of 20. Sarah Marie Wood, Bachelor of Science, Agronomy, Cum Laude, Class of 20. Cassidy Toll, Bachelor of Science, Agronomy, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. Nathan Levi Johnson, Bachelor of Science, Agronomy, Class of 21. Tessa Hake, Bachelor of Science, Agronomy, Class of 21. Dylan Rush, Bachelor of Science, Agronomy, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. Chandler Evans, Bachelor of Science, Agronomy, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. Karsten Kale Harrison, Bachelor of Science, Agronomy, Class of 21. <laughs> Tate Jacob Winters, Bachelor of Science, Agronomy, Class of 21. Brandon Ty Cobb, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 21. Daniela Abati, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 20. Toy Cook, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 21. Tail DeWitt, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Dawson Barr, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 21. Wyatt Hammock, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 21. Brett James Munch, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 20. Sawyer Vaughn, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 21. Summa Cum Laude.
Cassidy Weaver, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, magna cum laude, class of 21. Also, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, class of 21. Riley Caroline Shore, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, class of 21. Dylan John Perez, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 21. Colton Cantrell, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 21. Kayla Signer, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Class of 21. Samantha Davis, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. Lexi Honey, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Class of 21. Ana E. Argueta, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Cum Laude, Class of 20. Merle A. Sines, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 20. Karen Rios, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Class of 21. Nathaniel Isaac Rodriguez, Bachelor of Science, General Studies, oh, excuse me, Associate of, in, of Science, General Studies, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. <laughs> no, you're good. Maria Gutierrez, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Class of 20. Diana Maria Flores Marquez, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Class of 21. Linda Michelle Witten, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. <laughs> Brittany Lee Smith, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Heather Julian, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. Peyton Ashley Cruzan, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Class of 20. Shayla McKay Eastland, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Class of 21.
Kylie Richardson, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Class of 21. First time. Rachel Dirks, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Class of 21. Nathan Lethed, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Class of 20. Jacob Test, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Class of 20. George Dominguez, Bachelor of Science, Biological Sciences, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry, Class of 21. Avon Pantoja, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Class of 20. Lasimba Young, Associate in Science, General Studies, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Class of 21. <laughs> Seth Barbarino, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Nancy Fabiola Melendez Trejo, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics, Class of 21. Dre Ibarra, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics, Class of 20. Jane Collins, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Yes. <laughs> Angela Heyman, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Class of 21. Micah D. Ronowski, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude, Class of 21. <laughs> Sheila Russell, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Class of 21. Amy Combs, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Nursing, Class of 21. Okay. Cassandra Barr, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Class of 21. Jessica Rivera Vega, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Class of 21. Amanda Trejo, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Class of 21. Yadira Ugarte, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude, Class of 20. Monica Renee Christensen, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Class of 21. Flor Yvonne Sanchez Ramos, 
Associate in Science, General Studies, Bachelor in Science and Nursing, Nursing, Class of 21. Joelle Ugalde, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Ariel Waltz, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Class of 21. Victoria Dion Bolden, Associate in Science, General Studies, Class of 21. Yesenia Arias. Bachelor of Science, General Studies, Class of 21. Luke Bryan, Associate in Science, General Studies, Class of 21. Kendall Jory Brown, Associate in Science, General Studies, Class of 21. Anna Bautista, Associate in Science, General Studies, Class of 21. Daisy Chavez, Associate in Science, General Studies, Class of 21. Austin Kyler Jacobs, Associate in Science, Agriculture, Class of 21. Mackenzie Ray, Associate in Science, General Studies, Class of 21. Halia Locke, Associate in Science, General Studies, Class of 21. Carson Kyle Neville, Associate in Science, General Studies, Class of 21. Carson. Alexa Moreno, Bachelor of Associates in Science, General Studies, Class of 21. Kaylee Favela, Associate in Science, General Studies, Class of 21. Alfredo Almanza, College of Arts and Education, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Class of 21. Joel Arturo Barbosa, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Class of 21. Dadaren Primes, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Class of 20. Parker Lee Bowles, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Class of 21. Josie Shrum, 
Associate in Science, Criminal Justice, Class of 20. Lizeth Guevara, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Class of 21. Kaylee Joy Johnson, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Aubrey Sasha Bowers, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Class of 20. Larkin Meltabarger, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Class of 21. Samantha Manuel, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Class of 21. Peyton Zelke, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude, Bachelor, uh, Class of 21. <laughs> A little tongue tied there. <laughs> Katie Winters, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Class of 21. <laughs> Kayla D. Herrera, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Class of 20. Antonio Vaughn, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Marquez Johnson, Associate in Science, General Studies, Class of 21. <laughs> Billy Edmund Ellick, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Braden Price, Associate in Science, General Studies, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Class of 21. Tristan Inman, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 20. Micah Bell, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Go ahead. I will. Naomi Jean Rodriguez, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Riley Page Higgins, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Cum Laude, Class of 20. McKenna Clement, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Class of 21. Erica Kaler Battiest, 
Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 20. Jack Adelot, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Peyton Garrison Armstrong, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Bradley Ruiz, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Chris Galvin, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Nicolas Rodriguez, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Juan Sanchez, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 20. Jacob Martinez, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 20. Laura Moya Demirs, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Cum Laude, Class of 21. <laughs> Callie Shay Kenny, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Jeannie Spivey, Associate in Arts, Social Studies, Bachelor of Arts, History, Cum Laude, Class of 20. <laughs> Rachel Williamson, Associate in Arts, History, Bachelor of Arts, History, Cum Laude, Class of 21. <laughs> Veronica Escalara, Associate in Arts History, Bachelor of Arts History, Class of 21. Oren McGee, Bachelor of Arts History, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Lucia Ledesma, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Class of 21. Zachary Luan, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Class of 21. Jeanalyn Christine Deason, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Class of 21. Lisa Marie Ferris, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Congratulations. Zion Bird, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Class of 21. Kyle 
Kevin Geip, Bachelor of Arts, Social Studies, Cum Laude, Class of 20. Dakota Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, Fine Arts, Class of 21. Dustin James Martinez, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Art, Cum Laude, Class of 20. Samuel Ortiz Medrano, Bachelor of Arts, Fine Art, Cum Laude, Class of 20. Carly Pryor, Bachelor of Art, Fine Art, Cum Laude, Class of 21. <laughs> David Hiram Vaughn, Bachelor of Music, Music Performance, Class of 21. Alondra Bobadilla, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting, Class of 21. Jarena Lauren Davis, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting, Class of 21. Alexandra Greer, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting, Class of 21. <laughs> Hannah Hasse, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting, Bachelor of Science, Agribusiness, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. Aaron Hale, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting, Class of 21. <laughs> Jamie O'Gorman, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Betsy Reyes, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting, Class of 21. Reagan Marie Wilson, Bachelor of Business and Administration, Accounting, Class of 21. Maribel Esquivel, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. Cassandra Binge, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, Cum Laude, Class of 20. Thane Pia 
same way. Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Class of 21. Esmeralda Castro, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Danny Valverde, Jr., Associate in Business Administration, Business Administration, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Bachelor of Science, Health and Physical Education, Class of 21. Jonathan Polston, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Class of 20. Derek Lamont Scott, Jr., Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Class of 20. Tyler Denton Good, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Class of 20. Jake Lee Trujillo, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Class of 21. Manuel Terrazas, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Class of 21. Lupita Jimenez, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Class of 21. Hold on. Romario Martinez Almaguer, Bachelor of Business Administration, Computer Information Systems, Class of 21. Joshua Rogers, Bachelor of Science, Industrial Technology, Class of 21. <laughs> Luis Hidalgo, Bachelor of Science, Industrial Technology, Class of 21. Jared Thomas, Bachelor of Science, Industrial Technology, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Is it Cole Casera Tolly, Bachelor of Industrial Technology, Class of 21. Amanda Blanton, Bachelor of Business Administration, Computer Information Systems, Cum Laude, Class of 20. Corby Joseph Jenkins, Bachelor of Business Administration, Computer Information Systems, Class of 21. Tanner Davis, Bachelor of Business Administration, Computer Information Systems, Cum Laude, Class of 21. Ready, 
Francisco Ortiz Medrano, Bachelor of Business Administration, Computer Information Systems, Class of 21. Connor Jeffrey Bockert, Bachelor of Business Administration, Computer Information Systems, Magna Cum Laude, Class of 21. Aaron Moreno, Bachelor of Science, Industrial Technology, Class of 20. Hayden Ukens, Bachelor of Computer Information Systems, Bachelor of Technology, Computer Graphics, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Finance, Cum Laude, Class of 20. Jorge Rosas, Bachelor of Business Administration, Marketing, Bachelor of Business Administration, Computer Information Systems, Class of 20. <laughs> Cheyenne Pinkston, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Marketing, Class of 21. Brian Martinez, Bachelor of Business Administration, Computer Information Systems, Class of 21. <laughs> Ashley Jimenez, Associate in Science, Business Administration, Class of 21. Crystal Hernandez, Associate in Science, Business Administration, Class of 21. <laughs> Natalie Watson, Associate in Science, Business Administration, Class of 21. Julie Johnson, Associate in Science, Business Administration, Class of 21. Graduates, please stand and remain in your places until we have completed the benediction, a special photograph, and the recessional. We'll do this. Everyone, please stand. We didn't do it because it's not a... No, it's not a script. Ladies and gentlemen, how about these graduates? I want to take a minute. We missed something in the script. I want to take a minute and recognize one of our own. Senator Murdoch is a rancher from Northwest Oklahoma where his family settled before statehood. He farms, he has a cow-calf operation, and best of all, he's a graduate in agribusiness from Oklahoma Panhandle State. He's one of us, and we love that he's here, Senator Murdoch. All right. Graduates, you are now part of our past, our present, and our future. 
We are family. We are Panhandle. Somo familia, somo Panhandle. Please help him welcome back for our benediction, Reverend Shepherd, and then we're going to take a special picture for all the graduates and their families. Reverend Shepherd, receive this good word as a blessing. May the God of love and all peace shine upon you. May you know his goodness. May you find him faithful. We ask that you, O oh God, bless these graduates with courage to explore new horizons. Graduates, may you be blessed with humility in the face of abundance and success. May you be blessed in, to trust in seasons of need. May you be blessed with compassion for the poor, the hurting, and the broken. And may you be blessed with gratitude for the journey and those along the way that will join you. Go from this place knowing that you are never alone, for God desires to walk with you, to share love with you, so you may know his peace. Blessings on you. Thank you, Reverend Shepherd. Amen. Graduates, this is your moment. What we wanted to do is take a special photograph so that we can capture as you step into the next chapter of your journey. If you look over my shoulder, you see a drone hovering right above uh, the scoreboard there. We're going to take three pictures. One's going to be very serious. Can, I, can you all see that? So I want to see your best serious. I don't know if this is your best serious face, all right? But I want you guys to give me your best serious face, all right? We're going to do this on the count of three. Ready for your serious face? One, two, three. Very nice. All right. So the second one, we're going to strike a pose. All right. So I'm going to give two thumbs up to the camera. You can do any hand gesture you want as long as it doesn't include one hand with one finger. We good with that? <laughs> All right. So here we go. So, so it doesn't matter to me what you do for a pose. All right. But are you guys ready to strike a pose? One, two, three. Strike the pose. All right. All right. So now let's really celebrate. I don't know if I want to do this in the wind, but we're going to try it anyway. So what I want you to do is we're going to have you throw your motorboard up into the air. Okay? Not yet. Hang on here. Okay. Every, 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 everybody got them off? Okay. So I think we're, what we're going to do is we're going to count this one out. Why doesn't the crowd help me? Ready? One, two, three. Yay! Whoa. As pomp and circumstance started, I, I didn't think that through. I mean, almost all of them came at me, right? Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations.
PTCI is keeping your world within your reach with nationwide cell coverage. PTCI's award-winning customer service team is more than willing to go the extra mile with you. And with PTCI Cellular, you'll always stay up to date with the technology that keeps you connected no matter where you go. So come to one of our local stores with the people who care about you. For flexible plans, visit ptci.net. Is there anything better than free? PTCI is giving you three months whole home Wi-Fi Plus free. Now cover your entire home with Wi-Fi Plus. Plus get virus protection, cloud backup for your important files, password manager, and 24-7, 365 tech support. What's free? Get your whole home Wi-Fi Plus now free for three months. Visit your PTCI location today. Some restrictions may apply. Call 1-800-562-2556 or click ptci.net for details today.